just press the button of each direction. Okay, so uh, we are really very happy to have this uh, ha have this nice talk today. It will be by Dongmin Gang, who is uh, a junior research group leader at Pohang in Korea. And uh, he's, uh, he's, he's going to tell us about something really exciting about how to get uh, topological phases of matter on membranes, wall volumes. Uh, so, and he's initiated a nice research program for classification topological phases based on such uh, connections with M theory. So, over to Dongmin now. Uh, uh, let's hear from him about it. Okay, thank you for the introduction. So, today I'm going to talk about the M theory genesis of topological phase, which is based on my recent work with uh, Kilyong Jo and uh, Hichel Kim. Uh, both of them are uh, professor at the uh, postdoc, tech member at postdoc. So here is uh, my brief introduction. So one of the non-trivial projection of a string and M theory is that uh, the existence of the higher dimension, uh, dimensional spoke component field theories. So one of the most uh, famous example is so-called the 60 comma zero theory which is, uh, is the CFT, which is described in, describing the world volume theory of multiple and pi braids. These six theories are labeled by the, the natural number K, which is corresponds to the number of m pi brains. So we are considering some stack of K coincident m pi brains, whose world volume is pi plus, pi plus one dimensional extended object, that the, at the IR low energy limit, then the, it can be decoupled with the gravity in the bulk and the and the, at the theory at the theory living on the world volume theory is described by the six dimensional spoken point field theory, which is usually denoted by the 60 comma zero theory, a k minus one time. So using this uh, higher dimensional uh, higher dimensional spoken by field theory, we can geometrically construct the low dimensional theory by through the compactification. So one famous example is the compactification of the, this the 60 theory on the two dimensional Lehman surface. When the, this the Lehman surface size is very small, then the, this effectively is described by the four dimensional theory, which is denoted by in this notation, T, K, Sigma. So K is the number of empire brains of the six theory, and the sigma is the choice of the internal two-dimensional Riemann surfaces. After the compactation, we obtain the six Cody theory, which is not by this one. So for, for Riemann surface cases, two-dimensional Riemann surface cases, it is very easy to uh, visualize, and uh, it is known that all the close orientable Riemann surface can be determined by the or determined by the choice of the number of genus. So genus zero surface is called the sphere, and the genus one surface is torus, and the, et cetera. Similarly, we can consider the uh, compactification of this six theory along the three manifold M. Throughout my talk, so three manifold is denoted by the M. So for simplest, I will only focus on the most simplest the six the two comma zero theory, which correspond to a one type of two comma zero theory, which correspond to two m pi brains. But our uh, discussion here can be automatically can be generalized to the higher m. But uh, for simplest, I will only assume that the two m pi brains, and then we compactify on the some compact three manifold, closed three manifold. Then the, the resulting theory is denoted by the TM. This is wholly determined by the choice of the interesting manifold. And this is the main hero of my talk. So please remember this uh, notation. T means that this is a theory, three dimensional theory, and the M is the uh, choice of the interesting manifold. So unlike a uh, 2D Lima surface, uh, st some st Topology of a three manifold is very difficult to visualize, but uh, fortunately there is a very well known way to visualize the three manifold, which is is you know, which is called the denser representation. It it say that the uh, denser representation is given by in this way. 
So we for to construct the three manifold, we choose uh, some knot or link. Knot means that there is only one component, and if it, there are se several components, I will call it as a link. In this case, it, this is a one component of knot, and this is a three component of link. And for each component of this uh, knot or link, we assign uh, some fraction number, which called the slope. Then the, this will give us uh, some three manifold. This is called the tensor representation. And the one nice thing about this uh, tensor representation that is mathematical, it is known that the all the compact three manifold can be given in this way. So if you draw the arbitrary link, the arbitrary component, then the, you assign arbitrary uh, fractional number, then the, it automatically give us some compact three manifold, and uh, and uh, it is also known that every compact three manifold can be given in this way. So as you can see from this self social representation, it's a two Sorry, sorry. So could you say a little bit about what this what this surgery actually is? Uh, what what precise? So, Surgery is a is a, is a surgery construction is done by the two step. So so we consider some three sphere, which is simply the three manifold, and uh, so we are we are considering the this kind of a knot in the three manifold. So, so as, as, as some some three sphere three sphere can be regarded as R three plus infinity. So you just imagine the some knot in, in inside that some R three. Then we will consider some tubular name of this knot. And this is a topologically solid torus. So we first remove the, this solid torus, tubular neighborhood one. Then the, this resulting three manifold is called the knot complement, which have a torus boundary. This torus correspond to the removed uh, boundary. And then the, we are gluing back to the, this solid torus to the, this uh, removed knot complement. And the way of gluing back is determined by the, this, the choice of the fractional number P and Q. So in this way, so we can construct the, this is exactly the surgery representation. We cut and that's the paste again, something like that. So this is a surgery representation. So this will give a very easy way to visualize the three manifold, so graphically represent the three manifold. So in, so in my talk, I will, uh, use this convention. So if uh, if you find this kinds of the knot and the, some fractional number, you can think that this is just a choice of some three manifold. So thank you for the question. I what is T here? Is, is this what? like gauge group T? Uh, D. Uh, so this is the dimension of a uh, space time. So no, no. sixty means that this is a uh, so C O E present T present here guest group. Uh T here. Is this guest group? No, no, so it's this is the dimension of space. Uh, yeah, dimen dimension of the space time. So oh. so here it means that so we start from the six dimensional theory and the compact pile on the three manifold, a uh, two manifold, two dimensional manifold, then the, we effectively get a four dimensional theory. And the, instead, if we start from the six dimension theory and the compact file the 3D theory, then the, we obtain 3D. So this is a D different dimension of the. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you for the question. So, um, uh, what are these TM theories exactly? Maybe you're going to tell us a little bit. So, it's related to some John Simons with matter and some dualities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, in our structure way, this TM theory is, is defined in this way. But uh, your question is that uh, we want to know better some field theoretical understanding of this one. So this is uh, defined in a very abstract way. So so people know that uh, for given three manifold, how to give it some field, field theoretical description. So I will briefly review on the, this topic. So thanks. Yeah. So so this is the main hero of my talk. So. Previous study on this theory uh, uh, mainly focus on the gapless cases. So it means that uh, this theory, if we consider this theory and uh, consider some flat torus and uh, consider some, some energy spectrum and uh, there is a gapless cases in the 
when the size of torus is very infinite cases. In these cases, it is known that the believe that the, this TM theory will follow to the spoken point field theories. And in the spoken point field theory, this is two, three dimensional two, spoken point field theory. And the, the one basic object, physical object of this spoken point field theory is the collection function of local and not local operators. So spoken point theory allows um, some non-local operator as well as a local operator. And their correlation function is the basic some physical observer of this uh, theory. So in my talk, instead, I will mostly focus on cases that when the, this TM theory is the gapped pages. Gapped pages means that there is the, some energy, finite energy difference between the ground state and the first excited state. And it is known that uh, it is it's believed that if the 3D theory relative to the 3D system has the gap system, have a mass gap, that the, each IR physics is described by some, some certain kinds of the field theory called the topological field theories. So basic object of topological field theory is the loop operators. Instead of a local operator, there's no local operator. And uh, this the loop operators sometimes called anion. So in condensed matter literature, it is sometimes called anion model. So, so, so I so so I briefly reviewed that uh, some using the six theory and the, we can engineer the infinity very rich variety of the three theory TM and the, there are two cases for TM cases. So one is the uh, Gapless cases. In that cases, this theory will be described by the spoken by field theory. And in our talk, I will focus on the gap phase cases. Then the, this theory will be described by the so-called topological field theory. Then the one natural question you may ask is that uh, so this 3D theory is wholly determined by the choice of the internal theory manifold. Then the, depending on the choice of this one, then the, this can be either capped or gapless. So one one first question we want to ask is that the, for which, what kind of three manifold does the resulting TM theory has mass gap? And suppose that the, this has TM has mass gap, then the, this theory will be described by so-called topological field theory. Then the, if it is gap, then the, how to read of the basic physical observables from the topological data of the three manifold? This is uh, one of the basic questions of my talk. And uh, I'm trying to answer this question. So uh, in topological theory, the basic physical observers are collection function of loop operators. In the topological theory, there is no local operators, and they are the only the, uh, the physical observers. These are the main question. So do you have any questions so far? OK. So let me so briefly review of a general aspect of a two plus one dimensional topological field theories. So this theory will appear at the IR limit of the gap pages. So, and the, we want to uh, some study the, some physical observer of this theory. So to understand the physical observer, we should first explain the, what is the basic physical observer in topological field theories. So one, uh, so one characteristic property of the two plus one dimension topological field theory is that there is no local operators, non-trivial local operators. The only non-trivial and local operator in this theory is uh, identity operators. So most famous example of a trans topological theory is called the chan Simon theory, which is given by in this field. This is A is the SU2 gauge field, and uh, this is given in this way. And uh, here is a, uh, there is no metric and this is the uh, metric independence and uh, which means that this is a topological theory. And in this theory, you, you may try to construct uh, some gauge invariant operator using this uh, element that field, gauge field A, but uh, you, pay, you can easily found that there is no way to construct uh, gauge invariant local operators. So in this theory, there is no gauge invariant local operators. Even the stress and tensor become trivial. So there's even, there's no even stress and tensor. So this is really the trivial series. If you consider this the local operators. But in terms of this local operator, this theory is very trivial, but uh, this 
theory is non-trivial in the sense that it, it contains a very non-trivial uh, loop operators. So loop operators. So if we consider S3 to Chan Simon theory, and there is uh, some gauge invariant loop operator called uh, uh, Wilson loop, which is defined in this way. So Wilson loop is uh, labeled by the choice of the trajectory K and the choice of the representation of the Wilson loop. So for S3 to Chan Simon level K cases, there is a K plus one type of a loop operators, which correspond to some trivial loop operator and the uh, fundamental loop operator and the da, 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 to the case power of the fundamental representation. And there is also finite truncation and there is only K plus one type of loop operators. So these are the basic uh, physical observer in this topological series, plus fundamental topological series. So basic physical observer of this topological field theory is the correlation function of these uh, loop operators. So consider some, we, we consider three manifold called the three sphere. And then the, we consider correlation function of two loop operators, uh, not, not the, the linked in this way. This link is called Hopf link. And uh, then the, for each component of a link, we can assign uh, some, some type of uh, this loop. And uh, this is denoted by this color. The red type, red color corresponds to some better type of uh, loop operators. And this green uh, color corresponds to some alpha type of loop operators. So in this case, there's a total k plus one choice of the this the loop operator type. There's a k plus one type of colors. And then the this the pattern function is the exactly computable, and the, this is given by in this simple expression. So this loop operator sometimes interpret as a trajectory of some charge particle called the anion in some with a certain charge. So these are the basic objects in the topological filter theories. So if you want to solve the topological filter theory, then the, if you choose arbitrary three manifold and uh, some arbitrary combination of the loop operators, and then the, if you compute this pattern function, then the, you can say that I completely solve this uh, topological filter theories. So this is a basic topological field theory. And the topological field theory is the useful so in, in, in the way that in the mathematical viewpoint, this uh, topological field theory, uh, its pattern function give us some color of the link or three manifold invariant. So here, so we put uh, some uh, theory on the topological theory on the three sphere, and uh, we can compute uh, some loop operator expected value in the arbitrary knot. And uh, it turns out to be this is a uh, give us uh, some very well known knot invariant called the uh, Jones polynomial, color Jones polynomial. So, in this way, so if you have uh, any to topological field theory, then the, it will automatically give us uh, some color of the link or the three manifold invariant, which is a very interesting research topic in the mathematics. Also, people believe that some people believe that uh, using this topological field theory, we can, uh, in theoretically, still in a theoretical level, we can realize some topological quantum computing using this uh, topological phase. So the idea is the following: so we encode some qubit information on the, this anion, so different color correspond to different qubit vectors. Then the, this braiding corresponds to cubic operation. And in this way, you can realize that this uh, some preparing some qubit and some some operation of this qubit through the this the topological field theory operations. So in this way, and so topological is very important in this uh, uh, realization because topological means is it is a stable under local perturbation. So it people believe that uh, using the topological theory phase, we can realize uh, some quantum compu computer. So this is uh, why some people are interested in the study of this topological field theories. So, 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 so there are various uh, microscopic model for two plus one dimensional topological field theories. So one uh, very intuitive model is uh, some using the lattice Hamiltonian. So. So we are considering two plus one dimensional system. So space 
is two-dimensional two and we some regularized by lattice. And for each lattice, we assign some Hilbert space. And we, and for given Hilbert, and for given this lattice, so we are give us some Hamiltonian or such this type. This is one of the famous example lattice model called the Tori code. And then the, you can try to diagonalize this Hamiltonian. Then the, if this uh, Hamiltonian has mass gap in the, this web, even though this size is very large, then the, this theory at the zero temporal limit is known to be described by some topological field theories. So this is one way to realize that this uh, topological field theory. We consider some lattice Hamiltonian, and uh, if there is a mass gap, if this uh, topo uh, lattice Hamiltonian, in the, in the, then the, in, the, in the very zero temporal limit, it means that only the ground state uh, uh, contribute in this physics. Then the, this, the ground state physics is described by the topological field theory. So in this Tori mode codec cases, it is known that this uh, uh, the zero temporal limit physics is described by the bosonic topological page, which is described by this in this notation, four zero V. So this is another name for Z2 gauge theory. So this is uh, some nomenclature of a topological page uh, uh, invented by these people. Can I ask something here? So if I, uh, so if I remember correctly, this toric Hamiltonian, this has uh, not, yeah, not a unique ground state, uh, but because- uh, Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you want the yeah. code space to be the set, yeah, yeah. The ground state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, this, this theory, so, so there, this theory has Hamiltonian diagonalization. You find a very interesting property. Personally, this is a ground state degeneracy is uh, actually depend on the choice of the uh, space. So the if, you yeah, put, on yeah, space. if you put on the torus, then the, there is a full ground state. And if you put on the genus two Lima surface, and then there is a uh, 16, something like that. So yeah, 16 ground state. And uh, so it depends on the number of genus. And so, so this pole is actually means that there is a full ground state on torus. Yeah, so this is one basic. Thanks. Okay, I wanted to know yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a characteristic property of that. So there is a ground state generality. Yeah. Uh, can I ask a question? Yeah, please. Yeah. Uh, so uh, just because the theory is gapped does not mean that the ground state is going to be a top described by a topological field theory, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, I just want to clarify that because you said that the toric code is a, has a, has a has a mass gap. Yeah. Right. But yeah. So just the presence of a mass gap is not enough to make the ground state uh, something that that requires a topological field theory description, right? Uh, yeah. So. But so yeah. So uh, as I mentioned, it is uh, so believe that in the two plus one dimensional system, if there is a mass gap, and then the, this uh, physics of a near the ground state is described by the uh, topological field theory. So in, in it is okay. it is long believed that uh, it is also true to the every dimension. But uh, recently, it, is, it turns out that there is a counter example in the three plus one dimensional cases. So in three dimension one plus cases, there is some kept uh, lattice Hamiltonian system, but uh, this IR physics at zero temporal limit is not described by topological field theory, which is called the Plankton model. Right. And uh, so right. it is not true for the higher dimension, but the two plus one dimension, it is still, yeah, I think it is still believe that the uh, kept it, system. It's, it's true for all gap, all gap Hamiltonians. Yeah, I think so. At least, uh, so, so this is uh, not, not the main uh, example of my talk. In my talk, I will focus on the, some usually the, the relativity counter field theory. And the, then the, if the relative counter field theory has a mass gap, then the, it is, uh, yeah, I think uh, okay. it is almost true that uh, this uh, IR physics is required by the topological yeah, field theory. Because normally you would think that if you have, you take uh, topological observables, sir, do not depend on the space time positions, right? X1, X2. So if you have some right. local operators and some uh, and some ground state uh, and sorry, some some vacuum expectation of operators which is non-trivial and uh, which is independent right. of this position x one x two going, because uh, so so then it it should uh, be described by some topological observables, right? I mean yeah, 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 normal yeah. expectation. 
but yeah. uh, but I don't know when it can go wrong though. I mean, I mean, there yeah, yeah, be yeah. a lot, it might be something else, but but that's I, yeah. I would so, close. Yeah. yeah, so if there is a gap system, then the, there is a, at the low end limit, then the only ground state is uh, relevant. And the ground state, Hamiltonian is a zero order, older state. So it means that the Hamiltonian is a part of a T menu. And so then the, I'm oh. not sure but the, how to prove it, but the Hamiltonian is zero and the non relative system, this may imply that the T oh, menu okay. itself is zero. Then if the, the means that, uh, is, is, all right, right. If the Hamiltonian is zero, uh, then I mean, I mean, it's the same situation. I think, never mind, never mind. Okay, I, I thought I understood, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is uh, some lattice Hamiltonian, but uh, we can also consider engineer uh, some gap system using some continuous counterfeit theories. So, so some one simplest example, this one. So if we consider U1 gauge theory coupled to the complex car of a charge two with this super potential, and you can easily found that uh, from the, this uh, super potential, this is has gap. And this gap system and the, at the, this pi has a bad and this, uh, U1 gauge theory is uh, is broken to Z2 gauge theory, and this theory is actually described by the same topology page given by this one. So in this example, we can find that that, that this topology page is very universal. So this theory, microscopic theory, is started from some relativity continuum field theory, and uh, this is then started from the lattice Hamiltonian. Here, well, there is even no relativistic symmetry, but uh, eventually at a certain limit. They are described by same topological page. So this oh, topological so page. I ask uh, for the for the second part. If you put it on an arbitrary genus surface, still true, or is it true only true on a torus? So this one. Yeah. So if you compare the two theory two systems on arbitrary genus yeah, surface. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think that th this should be the same. So I don't know how to put the, this theory naturally. Yeah, if there's put the theory on the naturally on the curved manifold, I think that uh, this theory will flow to the same, describe the same theory at the, some certain limit, yeah, on arbitrary genus, yeah. Okay. yeah. So these two theories are the same. Mm. So this is the show that this uh, topology phase is very universal. And uh, in my approach, so in my approach is very unique. So we are considering very fancy techniques so empire brain and the three manifold. What are we going to claim is that, uh, so this model, Topology page also can be described by some TM theory with the M is chosen in this way. So please remember that uh, this, this notation do not give us some closed manifold. And then the, we can consider some 3D theory uh, labeled by 3D TM. And this is denoted by M. And this, this is the uh, uh, in M theoretical construction, it corresponds to two M pi brain left on the three dimensional space time list M3. Then the what I claim, I will claim is that uh, this the theory at the IR limit is uh, still described by this topological theory. So, so in this way, so for given three manifold, certain type of three manifold, we can assign a topological page. So this this is a uh, uh, what we so in our approach, we will give an alternative microscopic model to have the topology page at the IR page. This is a main uh, motivation. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, so I'm, I'm not a string theory expert. So would it be possible for you to provide some background of what, uh, what, what an M5 and an M3 manifold is? Uh, yeah, so yeah, so uh, yeah. So, so, so M theory is a 11 dimensional uh, quantum theory on the yeah, gravity. Sure. Other thing and uh, some empire brain is the uh, so there are two basic objects in the, this M theory called the M2 brain and empire brain. So M2 brain is uh, some extended object with who, whose space time space dimension is a two dimensional. So mm -hmm. if we're considering time that is two plus one dimensional extended object, empire brain is uh, some extended object with a five dimensional space. So in total is a five plus one dimensional world volume. Right. So, so these are just, uh, just, this is just a five brain and the other one is a three brain, right? I mean, yeah, or do they have yeah. some special properties? Yeah, I have for this. So it's a, it is a very uh, the, the basic property. And then the, we consider some two multiple empire brain together 
And the compact pi on this uh, empire brain on the three manifold, three dimensional manifold, and and the, this three dimensional manifold size is very small. Then the, this uh, world of volume theory is effectively described. This uh, empire brain object is effectively look like a two, dim three dim two plus one dimension object. Right. Then the this and the, we are looking at the, some from physics in here the this world of volume of the empire brain. And this is described by the TM. So, okay. so this is so. So in this way, we can connect that the choice of a three manifold to the choice of the three D theory. And the certain three manifold case, it corresponds to gap phase, and it corresponds to topological phase. This is a yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the questions. Uh, yeah. So 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 <laughs> this is a little technical some uh, part. So let me briefly uh, review about this uh, 3D TM theory, 3D theory labeled by the three manifold choice. So it is a, uh, defined as a starting from the 60 A1 type of comma zero theory. So this is described the volume volume theory of two empire brains. So this is a six flat empire brains, six theory. And the compact pile on the internal three manifold called M. When the size of a three manifold is very small, this is described by the effectively described by the 3D theory, which is I will denote the TM theory. And some, some technical reason, I should do some technical operation in the, this uh, complication called the topology twisting, but uh, it is not so important. Anyway, so starting from the certain 6 theory compact by three manifold, we can get a 3D theory labeled by the choice of the internal three manifold. This resulting 3D theory has genetically have a 3D some supersymmetry, 3D relativity counterfeit theory with a supersymmetry, and also have some U1 R symmetry. And there could be some emergent extensile symmetry at the IR. So let me explain. So this is a defined very in an abstract way, but let me give uh, what we know about uh, this uh, theory. So first thing what we know is that we know the some effective description of this theory. So effective description means that uh, we know the some some quantum field theory, some description of this 3D theory, which will flow to the same physics, describe the same physics at the IR. Dongmin, can I ask you something? So in two plus one D, that John Simons, you can generate topological uh, theories even without this topological twisting, right? So why it is so essential to do this to get a topological theory? I thought that it is we don't require it. It would automatically because you are saying that you are produ producing a gap phase, uh, you will naturally produce some theory that is topological. You don't need to do this topological twisting, right? This is what confuses me. Uh, yeah. So so what I'm doing is that uh, some. Six the theory itself is not the topological theory. This is a yeah. capitalist theory. And then the, what I'm doing is that uh, we compact pi on three manifold. Then after that, this will be topological. Yeah, but why it is necessary to do this topological twisting to get a topological? I see, I see. So, so because that we want to have some control over this uh, this uh, system. So it means that uh, so so if there is a supersymmetric there is a, some supersymmetry preserved under this uh, uh, compactification, then the, there is a, some conduct we can reliably compute. Otherwise, I be, uh, allow you to compute something. That's why you do this topological. Yeah, so, I, we, yeah, so we want to have a control over this. Uh, some we have a, some some control over this uh, some complication. So, so yeah, as you mentioned, we can study the, this uh, complication without any topology twisting. Then the, this is very difficult to analyze this system. So uh, I see. Although it's well defined, but uh, it is uh, impossible to compute anything and uh, it's part to say anything on this one concretely. But if there's supersymmetry, then we can say more. So this is one. So this is important to do some localization that you could. Yeah, something like that. But uh, so, but eventually, if you get uh, some gap system, some supersymmetry does not play any role at the IR physics because that. Uh, uh, supersymmetry does not act on the phase free on the this IR physics. Then the yeah it's okay. So the IR physics is not the non supersymmetric in a sense. The supersymmetry decoupled it does not act on phase free. So 
So for the computation, we need a super symmetry, but the, the pilot theory we will arrive is not super yeah. symmetry. Yeah, that's the beauty of this one. So if we consider gap list cases, there is always a super symmetry demand. There is a local mm -hmm. operator and they are transforming non-trivial on the super symmetry, but we are kept the system, the super symmetry decoupled and then the, yeah, that's all. So, so for super symmetry is important to have a control of this system, but uh, we want to it uh, disappeared at the final stage. So this is realized at the kept system, yeah. So what we know is that, uh, so if given three manifold and, uh, and then the, it is known that three manifold can be decoupled at the basic building block called the uh, Ideal tetrahedron and solid torus. So this is a uh, uh, this kind of decomposition was studied by the mathematician uh, Thurston, and then the, this uh, decomposition is very useful and uh, to construct complete a lot of the topological invariant of a three manifold. And uh, so in our cases, uh, so if we, we know that this kinds of decomposition of basic building block, and there is a well known procedure to give us some field characteristic construction of this three, corresponding 3D theory. So for example, this, this three manifold is, can be described by the gluing by two tetrahedron and one solid torus. And then the, this each tetrahedron uh, introduces some chiral field. In this case, two chiral field and the, this solid torus correspond to some SO3 gauge field. So, Depending on the this gluing law, we can lead off the this field theory construction, and then the, we can find the, some field theory construction. So this and is the, almost similar to this uh, Kyoto constructions uh, yeah. for when you yeah. when you yeah. compactify yeah. on the two. Uh, yeah. two yeah. 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 So Lima surface basing block building block is some three points of the sphere, something like that, and the gluing is some analog, something like that, ah. and then the. This is some kind of basic bullet block, and the, this one corresponds to chiral field, and this one corresponds to SO3 gauging. So, so although this uh, algorithm is very complicated, but there is very well established algorithm from given three manifold to write down the. the so in the Gaiotto case, uh, it, there was naturally a SU2 arising when when you comparing when you are compactifying on uh, 2D, right? Yeah. Why it is U1 that is appearing here and not because you have two M5 brains? Uh, why is it that U1? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, as you mentioned, that is so A1. So, we expect that there's a so. Ah, it's A1. I see. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you expect SO2. So, this uh, A1 is uh, reflected in the, this SO3 gauge group. Yeah, but, uh, but, but, uh, yeah, there's no simple way to understand why this is U1 instead of SO2. Yeah, yeah, but uh, there is, uh, yeah, yeah, there's. So this is, uh, we know that, uh, so for given three manifold, we know that uh, how to construct the field theory. And then the, we can, and the, the claim is that uh, if we have uh, this uh, effective field theory and uh, at the IR limit, this is the same as the described IR physics of the, this sixth theory compactified on the three manifold. So starting from the two different uh, UV description, one is starting from the sixth theory and the compactified the three manifold and the this theory is a 3D theory with the UV description. And the, their claim is that they will flow to the same theory in this case. So this is what we know. And so we can also compute the, some uh, partition function of the Euclidean supersymmetric background. This is what is known. So, so we are considering the partition function on the, this 3D theory on the some supersymmetric background B. And there is a two way to compute this partial function. First one is using the so-called localized technique to the, this the UV description. So as I mentioned, for given three manifold, there is some super symmetric field theory construction. Then using some localized technique, then we can compute this partial function. And another way to alternative way to compute this partial function on this super symmetric background is called so-called 3D, 3D relation, which says that uh, this pattern function is actually depend on the topology of the internal 3 manifold. So 3D, 3D relation says that this pattern function can be computed by studying some topology invariant on the 3 manifold. More uh, specifically, this uh, pattern function can be 
computed by invariant of the SL2C transcyme theory on the internal three manifold. So the type of invariant will depend on choice of the supersymmetric background. So this, uh, this kind of relation has been studied a lot. So this is a very well established. So this is very technical, but the one thing I want to mention that there is a way to compute the, some pattern function on the, this uh, series. And uh, yeah, so, so people have developed this one. So, so this is a, the most uh, technical slide in my talk. So, so let me briefly review on the 3 d three relation. So 3 d three relation basically says that we can compute the partition function of this 3D theory on the some cold manifold can be computed by some, by computing some certain invariant of some SL2C invariant, SL2C transcyme theory on the internal 3 manifold. So depending on the, this uh, choice of the three-dimensional uh, three space-time, then the, this invariant will be different, but uh, there's a very well-known dictionary. So when we consider this, uh, we choose that uh, some space-time topology is uh, some, something like this one, degree p bundle of uh, genus Riemann surfaces. This is a Euclidean three-manifold. Then the, this pattern function can be written as in this way. So here is a very complicated. Here, this summation is uh, some irreducible flat connection, sl 2 flat connection, low alpha on the three-manifold. And for each irreducible flat connection, there is uh, some topological invariant called the uh, light my torsion and the transcyme invariant. So by computing this uh, summation of this uh, ideal supply connection with this way, then the, this claim is that uh, we can compute this pattern function. These are the main results. The right so, hand side looks very much like a Chan Simons, SL2C Chan Simons. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the pattern, some pattern function on the internal manifold. And this is a pattern function on the space time. So this is very, yeah, this is very surprising relation. So this is called the y 3 d 3 relation. This is a pattern function on space time 3 manifold, a three dimensional space time theory. And this is a pattern function on the internal three dimensional theory. I, I see. Yeah. So this is something like the HT relation, if you are familiar with. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is relation. So flat connection is a, uh, uh, one way to realize flat connection is some homomorphism from the fundamental group to SL2C. So this homomorphism can be constructed by the, some holonomy matrix of the this flat connection. And uh, there is uh, some technical definition whether this sometimes is called uh, reducible or irreducible. And here we are only summing over irreducible flat connections. And uh, for each flat connection, there is uh, some topological invariant called the Chan-Simon invariant and uh, uh, lacing or light my torsion. So, 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 luckily, this this uh, 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 this uh, flat connection can be regarded as a classical equation solution of classical equation motion for this SL2 transcyme theory. And this transcyme invariant is can be regarded as a classical action for the, this classical solution. And this uh, torsion is a one loop contribution to this classical solution. So can be regarded as this one. This is a, uh, is a mathematical well-defined invariant. So this is a finite sum and the summing of all the mathematical well-defined uh, well invariant. Then the, this, from this one, we can compute this pattern function. This is a 3D, 3D relation. So one non trivial consider check is that when the P equals zero, this corresponds to pattern function on Riemann surface times S1. So on topological field theory, some pattern function on Riemann surface times S1 computes ground state degeneracy on the Riemann surfaces. So it should be the positive, uh, positive integers. And the, from this expression, uh, we, can, we can always check that uh, this expression always become an uh, integer when this one. So this is a very quite non-trivial uh, consider check for this relation. So, so this is the, the so we put a summary of this 3D TM theory. So TM theory is defined in this way. And uh, so we know the effective 3D field theory description of this theory. And uh, we, we can compute some supersymmetric pattern function on this code background. 
this is what we know about this theory. Then the, the natural, so then the using this, uh, our knowledge on this 3D theory, I'm going to answer this two main question I proposed in the beginning of my talk. So for which is remainable TM become topological at the IR, has a mass gap at the IR, and then the how to read up this physical observers of the topological data was remainable. So in the topological theory, the basic physical observers are correlation function of loop operators. So let me give the answer to question. So, so what I'm claiming is that if all the elastic flat corrections are real, then the, we are claiming that uh, this the resulting 3D theory become top, has a mass gap and become topological. And the, the resulting topological theory will be denoted by the TFTM. So topological field theory labeled by the three manifold. So there are some very technical mathematical condition on three manifold, and uh, this is very well defined mathematical condition. Then we are saying that if this condition is satisfied, then the resulting theory is a topological theory. Uh, can can I ask something? So the statement is about when when you you, you produce a mass gap, right? Yeah. And, uh, and this is purely de determined by this topological data, what you are saying. Uh, so is there some field theory me mechanism to understand why this condition produces a mass gap? Uh, so why this, uh, so how this uh, condition imply that this is a uh, topological? Or there's a mass gap? Uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, I will give us uh, some, so yeah, I will explain it. Yeah, yeah, I, let me, so here is uh, some example of the three manifold satisfying this condition. So, it, so this manifold is a, some manifold and uh, this sets by the old condition. So, so let me go back to the, your question. Then the, so there, there is some very brief summary of the reasoning of this one. And the, so there is a, some physical content called the supercomputer index, which count the, some local operators of this uh, theory. And the, what we can claim is that the, using the 3D 3D relation, this uh, spot component index is related to some topological data of the internal three manifold. And then, then the, using this relation, we can prove that the, when the all the elastic plate conditions, this condition is satisfied, then the, we can claim that this spot component index become trivial. It means that there's a, it become one. And the spoken by index computer local operator, it means that there is no non-trivial local operator. So this is a signal that there is a mass gap. So in this way, we can argue that when this condition is satisfied, then the, the resulting 3D theory has mass gap. So it's, a, it's quite non-trivial, but uh, yeah. So this yeah, implies- then, uh, Why does, what does the irreducible SL2C flat connection has to do with, uh, so, uh, so suppose they're not uh, uh, real. So what is the connection between these irreducible SL2C flat connections with, uh, this, with the super conformal index exactly? How, how does this connection come about? This, this between uh, the... Yeah, so, uh, so, 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 so I, 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 some, so, uh, I, 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 I didn't explain too much, so it's just very technical. So according to 3D, 3D relation, it, it is known that uh, some spoken by index can be returned as a contribution from the erasure of black connections. Because of the link between the partition function, is it because the partition yeah, yeah, function yeah. is linked to, oh, okay. So it's like kind of AGT, so, yeah, yeah, so reducing, uh, ah, okay. So it reducing some kind of topological yeah. computation in that to yeah. a partition function computation, I see, and then, yeah. Yeah. and then, and, and uh, also, yeah. interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, and then the, so, so this reality of this uh, supply connection imply that uh, this uh, partition function does not grow much in the, some limit. And uh, then the, if uh, it's certain limit, it, the partition function does not grow much, that it implies that this is uh, become trivial. So in this way, we argue that, yeah. This is, this is beautiful, okay. Yeah, so it's a very technical, but uh, this is basic algorithm. So we use uh, some age-like relation. So, so if we, in the analog age, age because some, so, so limit, some limit surface set by certain condition, then the, the resulting Poly theory is uh, some topological, something like that. So, so this is uh, one thing. So this is how we analyze that. So, so 
if uh, this is main claim, so become topological at IR. So, so then the, you may wonder that uh, is there any example of three main four satisfying this condition? Then the, we can actually prove that the, this all family satisfy this topology criteria. So as I mentioned, the three manifold is given by this sensor representation. So it, we are considering four components of a link, then the, we assign uh, some three fractional number and the zero to the last component. And this will define uh, some three manifold called the type of the fiber manifold with the three fiber. There are three fibers. And uh, we know the fundamental group and then the, we can consider some either to a plaque connection. And then we can check that the, these are the older layer. So for example, most concrete example, we have uh, this manifold and we can, from solving this uh, homomorphism equation, then the, we can prove that there's only three to plaque connections whose holonomic matrix are given by the, this one. And you can actually check that the trace of this holonomic matrix are all linear. So this is a linear. So there is an infinity class of the three manifold of satisfying this condition. Also, there is a, another infinity family of three manifold which not satisfy this condition, which will give uh, some Kevlis spaces. So this is a brief summary of the reasoning why we expect that this this condition is satisfied that is topological. And then the the last the thing is that the. So suppose that uh, we have uh, this manifold and uh, how can we read of this is a basic observer topological pace. And uh, one of basic observer of two plus one dimensional topological pace is called the so-called modular structures. And then uh, we can determine this modular structure using this uh, uh, dictionary. This is one of the main uh, dictionary. The first thing we should identify is that what kinds of the annuals are allowed in this topological pace. So anion correspond to loop operators and uh, in the topology theory, there is only finite type of loop operators are allowed. So the answer in the, is that uh, this anion, its type of anion correspond to the ideal reflect function on three manifold. And uh, on three manifold, there's only finite number of the ideal reflect function and the each reflect function correspond to the, this anion. And the one basic quantum invariant of this anion is so-called the quantum dimension. And this quantum dimension is very simply related to some basic invariant of a topological invariant of this electric uh, correlation towards a light my torsion. And another quantum invariant of this uh, anion is a so-called topological spin. And this also can be determined by computing the transcendent invariant of the manifold. And there is uh, some uh, some, and uh, among these uh, anions, there's uh, some special type of anion called the trivial anion, which correspond to trivial loop operators. And, uh, and, uh, and, and there should be corresponding irreducible flat connections, which correspond to this trivial loop operator. And this uh, irreducible flat connection correspond to trivial loop operator should set by this relation. From this way, we can determine the which irreducible flat connection correspond to trivial loop operators. So, so, so modular structure is basically given by the S and T matrices. And the, using this dictionary, we can determine the T matrices and the, some first component of our S matrices. And the poor S matrix also can be determined by some, some, some flat connection to loop operator map. So I will explain it later. So, so this is a basic dictionary. So using this one dictionary, we can at least determine the poor modular structure of this uh, three manifold at TQFT from the topological invariant of this three manifold. Yeah, this is the main result of my our papers. So we first identify which three manifold give a topological page and then, then the how to read up the modular structure of the topological page from the purely the topological invariant of three manifold. So let me briefly review about the, what is the modular structure of the topological pace. So, so modular data are uh, composed of, consist of the modular S and T matrices. So, so this can be studied by the, we consider some Hilbert space on torus in the, this uh, topological field theories. And, uh, and this, 
Hilbert space is a dimension is a finite dimension, and this and the, this can be excited by the insertion of the loop operators, uh, left in the B cycles, and uh, so in the basis of this uh, Hilbert space can be chosen as uh, this exciting as a true vacuum to some loop operators. And uh, this type of loop operators is uh, learned from the zero to the n minus one. And this number of uh, n is equal to the dimension of the uh, Hilbert space. Then on the, this Hilbert space, this SL2G uh, modular group act on this uh, uh, Hilbert space as uh, some unitary operators. Then the, this S and T matrix is nothing but the matrix element of this uh, uh, S and T matrix of this SL2G. So these are the basic uh, uh, ingredients of the modular data. And uh, this modular data contains a lot of information of topological phase. So using this uh, modular data, we can compute the ground state degeneracy on arbitrary Riemann surface in using this uh, so-called Berlin de formula. And uh, this T matrix can be written as a diagonal matrix and the whose uh, is the diagonal element is given by some exponential of the H alpha, which is a topological spin, which is uh, given by this one. So determined this way. And uh, using this, uh, uh, Modular data, we can also compute the, some the fusion coefficient and the, some there's a fusion of this uh, loop operators, and uh, then we can determine this fusion coefficient from this modular data. And uh, we can also compute uh, some various pattern function of loop current spaces using the, this uh, modular data. So, for example, if we want to compute uh, some three sphere pattern function with uh, this uh, hop link, then the, this is determined by the S matrices. And we, if we want to compute the pattern function on the degree p bundle of a genus G Riemann surface, also can be written as a basically with the modular data of this one. So using this modular data, we can read of the lots of information of this topological pay, topological field theories. Sorry, I have a very stupid question here. So uh, given that uh, you have to choose a very specific manifold to get a topological field theory in the first place, how can you construct arbitrary manifolds like this? Uh, just said, I'm a bit confused. Ah, yeah. So, 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 it, so, 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 there are several so basic uh, observable uh, basic data to define the topological field theory, and the one basic data is a uh, SNT matrix. And the, in the using the SNT matrices modular data, we can only compute the pattern function on this type of three manifold. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah. But if we want to compute all the three pattern functions on the arbitrary three manifold, then we need the additional data. And this additional data is mathematically described by so-called uh, uh, modular tense category. So that this uh, right-hand side is true only for the specific kind of manifold where you have P's there, but- uh... yeah, 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 yeah. This is only better for, if we compute the pattern function on this type of, uh, uh, Manifold and this can be written as this one, but this is only some part, very small portion of the whole three manifold. So you may want to compute all the arbitrary three manifold. Then the we cannot compute it using just using the modular data. I see. Okay. But there is a very well known mathematical way to some compute the pattern function for all the three manifold. This is determined by the so-called the modular tense category. And the modular tense pattern consists of more data other than the S and T matrices, S and T and F and something other symbol. Then the, it is mathematically proven that the, using this uh, symbol basic data, we can construct all the pattern function on the three manifold. Then, then the, it uniquely characterized topological pace. Yeah, but but uh, yeah, this is the S and T matrix is incomplete, but it contains lots of information. But uh, this uh, SNT matrix is incomplete in the sense that uh, using this uh, SNT matrix, we cannot compute the, such kinds of pattern function, which is called height head link. So to compute this height head link pattern function, we need more data beyond uh, this modular data. And a uh, uh, long time before, it, it is believed that if a two TK of T has the same modular data, maybe this theory has the uh, same. 
but uh, recently, very quite, very recently, it the, there is count example of pi. So there is a two TKFT which has the same modular data, but the, these are the actually different. So this is so so modular data contain lots of information of the world. Sorry, sorry, but so what do you mean they're different? I mean that the, the TFTs itself are different, or the full field theories are different. Yeah, full field theory is different. So 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 to specify the topological field theory, we specify the S and modular data, and the, there's additional data to specify. And the two uh, there is a certain set of pair of the topological field theory which has the same S and T matrices, but the different other data. Okay, I see. Okay, so 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 by specified this model data, it does not uniquely determine the topological field theory. Because there could be some topological theory which has the same topol modular data but different topological theory. Yeah. So incomplete, but uh, it is uh, it contains lots of information. So so this this modular data is a very basic uh, object in the topological phase. And so what I said is that uh, if for given topological field theory or topological phase, then the, we can compute uh, there is uh, some S and T matrix satisfying certain conditions. But in, in the, doing the, some reverse engineering, we can try to classify the possible some topological phase from pi, classifying the possible modular structures. So this S and T matrix satisfies certain some con consistent condition. Then the by classifying all the possible and the modular data, some people try to classify all the possible topological pairs. So here, here is the summary of the classification of a topological pairs using the some uh, some by solving this uh, consistent condition on the this modular and S and T matrices. These are the finite size of matrices and the constrained by these uh, very non-trivial consistent conditions. And there's a, for each length, length means the size of the modular data, a size of the modular matrices, there's only finite solution are allowed from this constraint. And the, these people classify the, all the topological phase in this way. Here is uh, some nomenclature of this topological phase. And here is a link two topological page and link three topological page and link four topological page. So this is some a kind of a classification of topological page using the SNT matrices. So this is a summary. So for given three manifold using this uh, uh, three manifold satisfying this condition, we we can claim that uh, this theory is described by topological field theory, and then the Modular data of topological field theory can be computed using these dictionaries. This is the main importance. So let me give a, so here is a, some derivation of this one, and but uh, I will skip this part. So, so this is a derivation using the 3D relation and the other relations. And, uh, and uh, let me, so uh, let me skip this part. Uh, I'm learning all the time. So, let me give uh, some concrete examples. So as I mentioned, this uh, this three manifold given by this tensor representation sets by this topological criteria, and the, the resulting theory is topological theory. And the one nice thing of this manifold is that uh, the basic in, in invariant of flat connection called Shansheim invariant and torsion are known by this mathematician. Luckily, people already studied this uh, example. And they give the very concrete expression of this uh, Chan Simon invariant and the uh, tor torsion invariant for this uh, irrational flat connection. So the only thing we need to do is that solve this equation to obtain the, this uh, irrational flat connection, then apply this one, then the, we can obtain the Chan Simon invariant and torsion. Then the, using this dictionary, we can read off this modular uh, metric, modular matrix of this topological phase. So Correctly, we, if we consider this uh, three manifold labeled by this number, then the, there is a three irreducible flat connections, and the, there is Chan Simon invariant and torsions are given by this one. And the, using this uh, 
dictionary, then the, we can compute the, the, this uh, topological spin of these uh, anions. There's uh, three anions. And uh, according to our dictionary, this, uh, the topological spin of these anions, alpha anions, are, can be computed by the, this transimon invariant. From that, we can read of this uh, uh, topological spin of this anion. And also, we can read of the quantum dimension of these anions. Then compare this classification of topological phase, and this theory should correspond to length three topological field theory, topological phase, because there's three anions. And then, then the, we can easily found that the, some one of them of the, the topological phase in the classification has the same spectrum of the topological spin with this one. Recall that this uh, topological spin is defined only in mode one, so this is uh, exactly the same as this one. And we can also check that this quantum dimension is also same as the quantum dimension of this model. So in this way, we can check that this for this many three manifold, the corresponding topological page actually is this this one. So we can also compute the pool S matrices using some dictionary. Then we can confirm that this pool S matrix also same as the pool S matrix of this one. So in this way, we scan the, this, uh, this type of three manifold labeled by three fractional number. And then we can reproduce all the topological pairs up to length four. So we stopped at the length four for simplicity and uh, we can continue this uh, class classification of the higher length four, and we believe that the, all the topological pairs can be uh, obtained in this way. So for each three manifold for this type, we can construct the topological phase and we can read off the modular structure. And this is the same as the previous classification. It is compatible with the previous computation, uh, classification. We can reproduce all the topological phase using this geometrical construction. So just, just, uh, just another question. So the point is that uh, you, as you mentioned earlier, uh, you, you would be also, because the M theory construction gives you a natural gauge theory. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you actually also real examples of field theories, uh, continuum field theories, which are described by these TFTs in the IR, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a yeah, and uh, this is not yeah. possible if you just use consistency conditions to cons construct S and T, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so if we choose a certain three manifold, and as I mentioned, I can give us some. Concord the field theory UV description. And then the, if I just give this UV computer to some other people, and they may try to compute uh, some topological page appearing at the IR. And the first that they can check that uh, it actually brought to the topological field theory by computing some pattern function. And then the, they can also compute the, this uh, another pattern function to see what, what is corresponding topological page. And then the, this resulting topological page is uh, of course, same as this topological phase I uh, geometrically obtained. Yeah. Yeah, this is always true for Arbitrum. Yeah. So yeah, there is very non-trivial constant check. So there are two, yeah, yeah. It, it always work, yeah. So this is a summary. So we, yeah, we, yeah. So we dictionary and then this one. So, so, so far, I only consider some three manifold with a trivial set to homology, but uh, it can be generalized to non trivial homology. And uh, in these cases, one nice thing is that uh, uh, this, uh, this three manifold has a non trivial cohomology, and this cohomology play a role as a symmetry in the topological page. So, by studying this uh, three manifold with non, non trivial cohomology, we can study the, some topological page with the symmetry. And the symmetry play important role in the topological phase. So, so, so this is an interesting uh, some generalization. But uh, I'm learning all time. I will skip this part. So, let me summarize my talk. So, in our work, so we give a new microscopic approach to two plus one dimensional topological phase. So, our amateur construction is starting from the sixty. Um, and pi brain and compact pi on three manifold. Then the certain three manifold, this will give by topological field theory. 
and then we will give an expert algorithm of extracting the basic modular data of topological field theory from the uh, topological information, only the topological information of a three manifold. And uh, we can reproduce all the bosonic topological phase up to length four. And uh, we can continue to the, this analysis. And uh, I, I believe that we can reproduce all the topological phase at the arbitrary higher lengths. And uh, even though I haven't mentioned about non unit capacity, but in this setup, we can also uh, gen generate the non unit topological field theories. So, and, uh, and so in this way, this uh, geometric uh, approach will give the unified, unified framework for topology phase. So, it, depending on the three manifold, it sometimes gives the bosonic topology phase, or sometimes gives the permanent topology phase, and they sometimes give a unitary and non unit topology phase. So this uh, page can be all obtained by so, so varying the type of three manifold. So there is uh, some future direction. And uh, so in this paper, we only focus on the extracting the modular structure SNT without it contains a lot of information. And this is very basic characteristic prop quantity of this topology page, but this is not the complete uh, set complete uh, Characterization of topological phase. So there are some additional data beyond the modular structure, and uh, it would be nice if we, one can find the algorithm to extract this uh, uh, additional data from the topology of a three manifold. So in our main, in, in our uh, uh, talk, I only focus on three manifold given by the Jaipur fiber the manifold, and that there's uh, some another class of three manifold which. Uh, give a topological phase and uh, it will be also nice to study the other examples. Also, we can generalize to the changing number of the empire brains. We only focus on the k equal two cases for simplicity, but uh, this can be arbitrarily generalized. Uh, can and I then you think, yeah, because if you, if you change to higher k, would you be able to get some non-abelian representations of the braid group also that way? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so some, some, yeah, some more, some, some more complicated, uh, some topological phase we can obtain, yeah. Oh, I see. So even in two cases, there are some non-abelian statistics appears, but uh, yeah, there is a more complicated thing will happen, so. Ah, oh, okay, even for- And also uh, this- uh, 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 Sometimes- Yeah, 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 yeah. Even, even, yeah, yeah. So, and uh, using this geometric consequential, we may try to, uh, search for the new topological page, which is not uh, studied before. Just uh, giving some scanning the three manifold and try to find that uh, there's a, and, uh, and the, uh, we can relate uh, the physics of topological page to the mathematics of a uh, three manifold. Some uh, very interesting relation between the, this one. And so, so we, our, Try to relate uh, these three basic input theory and the symmetric counter field theory and the topological page and the mathematics of three manifold. And uh, so, this is very difficult to be an expert on this old topic. So, maybe we need to other collaborators to help us to study the, this topic more carefully. So, thank you for your attention. Let me start here. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for this really great talk. Uh, we learned a lot. Uh, so, it's time for questions. So let's take a few. Uh, Okay, I guess there were already some questions within the talk, uh, but yeah, it, it's quite interesting that uh, so, uh, that you could. Uh, so, do you think that if I want to understand this five by two uh, phase uh, of a fractional quantum Hall effect, you will be able to find somewhere here? Uh, mm -hmm. But of course, it is in uh, yeah, just just this so-called Moore read phase. Uh, so there are many of this. Uh, Many of the phases in in uh, there uh, in 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 yes, uh, like one example is that uh, of this topological phases could be this uh, it's what is called the Moore read state of fractional quantum Hall effect, this five by two mm -hmm. filling fraction or something. Mm -hmm. Isn't yeah, 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 yeah. Is it possible? Yeah, do you I, because yeah, that yeah, is a non-abelian representation of the braid group. Yeah, so yeah, 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 somewhere. Yeah. 
in your classification? Yeah, yeah, in some areas. So, yeah, in some certain three main four should correspond to this one. So, it's a totally different uh, microscopic description. So, in, the, in this fractional quantum effect system, this uh, micro system is electron and something like that. But in our system, this is empire brain. But eventually, they at the certain limit, they all the universal describe by some topological case, same topological case. So, so yeah, we can study that system, <laughs> electron system, the production of quantum effect using this empire brain. But the only very small part of that, yeah, very very, yeah, ground state or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. see. I have a please. I have a. Uh, Question. It's a, I mean, it's sort of a naive question. Um, so, uh, when you are looking at these uh, condensed matter systems, right? You 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 have uh, electrons and their interactions which produce these different phases, right? In a, in a in a real condensed matter system. But in the picture that you have, you only have geometric objects, right? You have brain, and mm -hmm. it is simply the properties of these brains because you are not introducing any 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 field uh, you're not introducing any 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 charged particles or scalars or fermions from what i could see mm, yeah so, but yeah yeah so so my 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 question would be that uh, like i mean would it be possible to have some sort of a, a geometric construction which would correspond to let's say electrons uh, some sort of elementary particles. Mm -hmm. Can there be such a correspondence between um, some 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 geometric primitive and uh, you know an elementary particle such as an electron? Ah uh, yeah yeah so ah uh, yeah so I, I, I'm not sure it's a the answer to the question but the, um, so given some some geometric object so. For, Object and uh, using some trying some decomposing into the this basic building block. Mm -hmm. Then then the, we can lead off that uh, what is uh, some some system have uh, some what kind of particle in this is this two plus one dimension system have something like that. Uh, this uh, in this cases there's a two chiral field chiral field contains some two uh, electrons. And uh, yeah, two electron and uh, so using this algorithm, we can lead up some mm -hmm. some field content. But uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. So uh, there is some. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. So we have a certain kind of the particle like uh, understanding of the this uh, volume volume theory. So there is some what what here people are claiming is that there is some UV discussion with where the element appears are. Uh, Electron and uh, some boson and the gauge pill, and then the, they will flow to the topological field theories. So, so this is obviously different from the the system in the appearing the content matter system. This is more have a more uh, unrealistic but ideal system, which is relativistic and uh, also has a, even sparse metric system. But uh, yeah. But they will flow to the this particle system will flow to the topological theory. So it is uh, essentially the same as the, some very large of electron in the content matter system interaction flow to the topological theory at the, some zero temporal limit. But there's a different UV composition. And the uh, one nice thing of our UV description, we using the geometric or other this uh, supersymmetric field theory is that uh, this is some ideal UV system, so it is easier to analyze this IR case. So, so in the context matter, if you just give some number of the electron, infinite many electron, and there's a Hamiltonian, uh, it is almost impossible to read off this, what is the, this uh, zero temperate uh, pace, because this is very large of the dirty in the, this uh, context matter system. But the, we simplify that uh, this uh, system, is ideal system, something like empire brain three manifold and uh, some 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 relativistic symmetric symmetry. Then the this system is has uh, some very ideal system, so it is much easier to analyze this uh, uh, zero temporal limit behavior. 
Yeah, so this is our approach. Then the zero temporal behavior is universal. Yeah, so, so, so I want to ask something. Uh, so uh, this, uh, uh, so there are examples where you have, if you had finite density, some topological phases can also arise, right? Uh, so uh, for example, uh, if you put in, is it possible in your in your thing to put some kind of a chemical potential in the index and uh, analyze this kind of, uh, see some kind of topological phases also emerging at finite density when you have some? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, yeah, that part I should ask that in the, the, that case, it's, uh, is the topological field theory is described by some non neutral TKFT? No, no, I don't know. I mean, well, I was thinking more like there are some uh, topological Fermi surfaces, uh, which are, mm. which are actually gapless, but there is still uh, because of uh, but still, there are some topological uh, 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 field theory that is supposed to, even though it is gapless, there is still some topological data that describes infrared physics. Yeah, so, so I'm not so sure. One example could be that there is a non-trivial churn number on this Fermi surface. Uh, and there are examples like that. There are still some kind of non-trivial topological data, even though it is gapless. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we found a, some very similar situation here. I skipped that part. Yeah, is that so? Some some thirty many certain thirty many fold, then the it turns out that there's a, if we compute the, the spoken by index, it becomes trivial. So we expect that this theory become topological theory, but the, actually we it turns out that this theory is not the topological theory, but this is a Gabli system. But the, the index become trivial because there is additional fugacity, and the, and we specialize this additional fugacity to a certain value. Then the, it become the Index become trivial, and uh, it looked like a topological theory. So, so we, so this, this is how we realize nonlinear TKFT. Nonlinear TKFT in our setup is realized in this way. So it does not correspond to gap system, but it has a gap system. But there is additional some fugacity Uon symmetry, mm -hmm. and then the, if we turn on the, this uh, additional Uon fugacity in the, some very non-trivial way, some 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 way. Then the this theory behave like uh, some topological theory. Ah, okay, just like in on uh, like happens on the Fermi surface. Uh, I see. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, that part I don't know much about. The maybe, maybe it's, yeah. it's just that uh, you can think of if you have a non, you can have some non-trivial Berry curvature on the Fermi surface, for example. Yeah, yeah I think that that, some that, some that produces some kind of topological effects. And, yeah, uh, so yeah. Yeah, okay, I see. There's something similar you could do there. Also. Yeah, something similar happened, but in this talk, for simple reason, I skipped that part. But uh, yeah, some, some, yeah, in that way, some non unitary yeah, TKFT appears. Non unitary TKFT seems to be associated with the Gabriel's mode, Gabriel's system with uh, some certain chemical potential and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, some specializing specification has some topological nature appears and uh, this one. Yeah. But in these cases, uh, these topological field theories are non unitary. Yeah, 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 th th yeah. That that uh, we obtain. Yeah, yeah. So that part I, I want to understand the better physics okay. wise. So appearing unitary TKFT is natural because we all say same unitary, and then the. But uh, could you get it from the original field theory? This continuum description, more better understanding of this uh, in these situations, what is happening? Yeah, yeah. We have a we have a discussion. So we have a UV discussion. But uh, it turns out that uh, it always have additional accidental U1 symmetry in non-unitary cases. And then the so if you at the level of Pachan function, this Pachan function behave like a topological theory at the some turning of some chemical potential for this U1 symmetry. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, in general, some yeah, it is not uh, trivial. So oh, certain, yeah. yeah. So th uh, that's uh, yeah, yeah. At the level of pattern function, this appears in that way. But uh, we we are lack of this uh, poor physical understanding. Just mathematically, it seems to give us some non-neutral TKFT, but uh, we are still missing the, this poor physical understanding of that. I, I have one more uh, question, if there is time. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. And, uh, have. this is the last question then. <laughs> uh, so uh, when you do this, uh, uh, when you have that knot and you decompose it into tetrahedra, 
and uh, that uh, solid torus right yeah. uh, so uh, you you are saying that uh, you you have that you you get two scalar field uh, which yeah. correspond to the tetrahedra right yeah like yeah. That. yeah so so my question is like how how does that correspondence come about like i mean it's not something that hmm? very clear to me how does that correspondence come about like how do you associate a scalar field with the tetrahedra Uh, so you are asking the how this algorithm uh, start uh, found, right? Yeah. So how do you get? Is, yeah, this this how? is quite a long story. So okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This okay. this is quite a long story, and uh, yeah. So it it takes uh, yeah several years people believe that this one, and there's lots of conscious condition, and uh, yeah. So these are all summarized. This uh, yeah, it's not so. Not trivial. So it's very kind of distant, and uh, it's also very non-trivial. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I I don't know any simple arguing that. Yeah, to explain this one. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank okay. you. <laughs> okay. So thanks. Uh, thanks for attending, and also thanks uh, Dongmin for this great talk again. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank, thank, hope thank you, you have a very nice day, and hope your confinement also ends soon. And your yeah, yeah. your vaccination is soon done and very efficiently <laughs> and uh, okay so good to have you and uh, have a nice day all of you and uh, yeah, thank you very much and thank you very much for the interesting questions yeah, yeah i really, really enjoyed it yeah, thank you very much yeah. okay goodbye then goodbye everybody